Hey, bam, bam. What's up? Your girl is vlogging today. I know, I know. I know, I know. Don't judge, y'all. Don't judge. Don't judge. All right, so I'm actually working from home today. I'm not vlogging like me working from home. Like, that's not what this vlog is about. I just was like, Rebecca, you at home. Pick up the camera and vlog, sis. It's been so long since I vlogged. My camera settings are off. I look blurry. Even this way, I look blurry. So let me. Okay, that's a little bit better. It just take. It's taking too long to focus. <sighs> All right. So I got my book bag right here. This is my work bag, y'all. Ain't my job fancy? They give everybody a work bag and it's not like no cheap work bag it's this brand right here yeah i don't know what it's called but i see a lot of working people with that brand of book bag like while i'm at the train station and stuff so i got that i also have this cluster which is my headset in my mouth and my batteries in there. I don't need that just yet. But yeah, so I'm about to log on. Oh, I dropped the kids off and stuff. And I stopped and I got me some Chick-fil-A. I just got me a breakfast burrito. So I'm going to eat that. Y'all, your girl is making lifestyle changes. I am making lifestyle changes and I'm so proud of myself. But I'm going to go ahead and log on and get situated open up my email and i'll come back and check in with y'all later and then we can talk about these lifestyle changes okay hey y'all i'm taking a little break i actually i'm making me something to eat it's 2 48 it's like past lunchtime but it's my lunchtime y'all so let me show y'all i'm also about to just check my gmail for a minute too but i got my weed right <laughs> I got my wig right here on my um, book bag because I've been having video calls and because we work or conference calls I should say and because I work from home on these days it's a requirement that we have our camera on so I can't be at work with like a hat on because I wouldn't normally be at work with a hat on but I'm yeah i'm not keeping that on all day because i'm not going back to wigs my hair grew somewhat while i had my dreads and y'all wasn't even vlogging with like the dreads and that's how long it's been i literally took them out like a couple days ago so i'm trying to figure out well i know who i want to do my hair the gag is this chick is located all the way in south carolina like she is dang near four hours away in um rock hill south carolina burn my little hot dogs i boiled them and then now i got them in my um cast iron skillet I'm trying to give them like a kind of like a grill a grill taste i got it up too hot that's why so yeah so until then i'm like i feel screwed i feel like this is just not the move y'all stuff just yeah I gotta find somebody to do my hair now and I kind of want to find me a different well so the person that was doing my hair she was doing my hair and also cutting my hair so now I gotta find like I don't think I can find a two-in-one anymore so now I have to separately find a barber so but yeah, I definitely want this chick to do my hair. So I need to submit my time request off for work. Because as of right now, she has an appointment available next week. Right before Easter. So I was like, shoot, I'm going to drop the kids off. Dry them four hours. Go get my hair done. Dry them four hours back. Yeah. And then I also need to schedule a camera and a hair appointment. Anyway, I'm just thinking about all the stuff that I need to do. Hopefully, I'll pick up the camera and vlog because your girl do be doing stuff. 
I do be doing stuff. I just don't be picking up the camera. But anyway, I know I had mentioned earlier um, lifestyle changes. So today is Tuesday. We're still in Lent. Easter's right around the corner. But I have committed to not drinking anymore. Or for right now, I should say. Because the drinking just got out of hand, y'all. Like, your girl was, you know, like, feeling like I needed to drink something every night. So, last night was the first day, night, that I didn't drink anything. And, I, like, I wasn't cranky. I wasn't mad. I'm just, like, telling myself, Rebecca, you can do this. Like, it's mind over matter. It's, like, mind over the bottle, like... And I don't even know when I go out with like friends and stuff like I probably won't even drink this. So let me back up. All of this came about because my first lady at my church and also her husband, the bishop, they posted an image of them and two other couples, three other couples, I think, um, on Facebook where they had gone to the movies. And they were like genuinely happy. They always having a good time though, like legit having a good time whatever they do so i sent her a text message not a i didn't comment i sent her a text message and i was like yo hold on i'm gonna read it verbatim it was a while ago but i be texting my first lady aka lady pastor quite frequently oh now <laughs> i'm just kidding let me know all right that was a while ago i think this is like the first Okay, yes, let's keep going. Yes, so when you have to scroll up. Okay, I said this was back on March 15th. I said at some point I want to hang out with y'all and have some fun. I don't know what it looks like without alcohol, but I'm willing to find out if you'll have me. So that was the start of that. So since then, turn this off because I'm about to smoke out my house. So since then, Babe and I have been on, we went out to dinner, like it was supposed to be a one-on-one uh, -on -one dinner, but then, well she wanted it to be a group thing for us, and that didn't work out, so then it was a one-on-one -on -one dinner, but then it turned into a lit group, like it was so much fun, like these people genuinely showed me. Like, how you can have a good time with friends and there's no alcohol involved. Because I wouldn't even disrespect them like that. And, you know, order, like, something to drink or whatever. So, that happened. And then I've also been more involved in the church because of this um, challenge that we're doing. It's called the Red Letter Challenge. And essentially what it is, is it's helping us to be better followers of Christ. Because the red letters in the Bible are the words of Jesus. And it's like a blueprint for how we need to live our life, lives. So, there have been five main focal points for each week. They're called targets. So, the first week, it was being. The, first, the second week, it was forgiving. Third week, it was serving. This is the... Um, the fourth week it was giving that was last week and then this is the last week this is the week of going so each week you have daily challenges so throughout these challenges our church has grown closer together because for one it's pushing people out of their comfort zone myself included so that's giving me more opportun opportunities to spend at church and being around good wholesome people good wholesome christians so it's just and even still you know i was still coming home doing my thing i was still um hello Nothing. I'm vlogging. Uh huh. No. Hmm. Why? How you get it? That's for people who open new accounts. Uh 
talk to y'all back. Okay, so I'm back. So yeah, so I've been spending so much more time at church and I'm loving it. Like, I'm going to church today. Okay, so I'm literally at church now. I mean, I pull up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because that's where Kaden go to school. But I've been doing that. We're going to talk about the extra, the extraness, because your girl is real extra when it comes to church now. So we're going to start with Sunday because that's the first day of the week. So consistently going on Sunday. And I'm going to Bible study. I mean, not about, wait, let me back up. And I'm going to Sunday school on Sundays. I was like, Sunday school who? Like, I'm not, I'm not getting up early. I'm not, I'm not doing it. But I remember Mrs. Kimbrough, that's the first lady, lady pastor, saying way back, she say it all the time, that son, I'm watching Darian, Sunday school is the most important school for your children to attend. And then adults too. And so she put it as plain as this. You wake up Monday through Friday to ensure that they get to their school school on time the school that's mandated by law on time but full time so why is sunday school not held in the same regard they hit home that made me feel some type of way i felt convicted but i still didn't act on it until we got to this challenge so i've been consistently going to sunday i want to say this coming sunday will be week four that I've consistently gone and I'm loving it. I'm just like, like I just, ugh, I don't know. Okay, so that's Sunday. Monday, ain't nothing going on right now at Monday, on Mondays, but that might change. Um, Tuesdays, for one hour, our fitness ministry meets. That's something new. So we now have a fitness ministry and that meets on Tuesdays from 6.45 to 7.45. Wednesday is Bible study. Bible study is now back on Wednesdays, which I can dig anyway because at the bare minimum, I was like, before I started being involved in other stuff, I was like, at the bare minimum, I can just stay there when I pick up Caden because I get to Caden like around 6.30. Sunday school or Bible study, intercessory prayer starts at 6.30 and then Bible study starts at 7. So I was just like, I'm already there versus them doing it on Sunday nights because I just was not going back on a Sunday night. Thursday is now training for the media and audio visual ministry team because I'm, I have joined that. So that's like dealing with like the sound and stuff, which makes sense. I had trained on it way back when, but it just like scheduling and training times didn't align because the bishop teaches that. Like the bishop is very hands on in the media and audio visual ministry. So now that's meeting every Thursday nights so we can have practical time to practice because that's also when the praise the um, and um, worship teams meet so we can play around with the cameras we can play around with the sounds the lightings i mean at my church y'all they have like full it's a small it's a quaint church i don't want to say small it is a quaint everybody knows your name church but the stuff that we is about to do and that we've been doing thank you god for growth and then on Fridays, nothing's going on. And then I also am now on the environmental services ministry. So I signed up to clean the church on Sun on Saturdays, y'all. On Saturday mornings, I have committed to. So that is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No, I'm just kidding. That's Sunday. That's Tuesday. That's Wednesday. That's Thursday. And that is Saturday. And I'm proud, y'all. I'm I'm so happy to be around people, good wholesome people. And it's not that I'm, and what I've learned and what will keep me going and help me to maintain this schedule is remembering that I'm not doing this for any person at that church. I'm not doing this for anybody, like literally a body. I'm not doing it for a body, but I am serving 
because Jesus Christ was a servant. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ, he came like he he's the ultimate master, but he humbled himself, became a servant. He came here to serve. So who am I to think that I'm above serving? And that's just in any regard. So that's like just a, a tidbit, like a drop in the bucket of the information that we have learned and are continuing to learn with this red letter challenge. And my prayer for myself is that it's not a phase, it's not a fad. And when these weeks are over and when Easter is over, like I just forget everything that I've learned. Like I I want to continue to be with God. I want to be with God in solitude. I want to read the Bible, spend time with him, pray more. I want to forgive, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, and the opportunity has presented itself. And I don't know if I, I mean, I. I definitely flew off the handle with this person but the next day I did ask for forgiveness um I don't know if it's all the way right it was genuine but then it's kind of like if you can't get back to where you were then how genuine was it and I can't get back to where we were right now and then with serving fed the homeless like downtown under the bridge like pop out y'all want some burgers and stuff some water ooh, 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 got you. like I want to do that again like all of this stuff that we planned and that we challenged ourselves to do and we posted about on social media I don't want any of that to go away so I just your girl about to lose some sleep but it's a good thing because now I can focus my energy on something else like I'm not I'm not going to be, I don't want to say passed out drunk nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Because when I drink, I get tired. Like, I, I get, like, real, like, and then it's easy for me to just lay down and go to sleep. So, I'm not productive. I won't come and edit. I won't, you know, do, you know, I'm working on a, a training manual for the video for the media and audio visual team, like I'm working on a training manual. So to have a clear mind is so encouraging. But anyway, what else is going on? I mean, is this turning into a life update or what? Um, Babe is on the way home. He's no longer an on the road truck driver, which is good. He still, he still is. You know, not local, local, but he comes home every night. So that's what's going on with him. Um, what else? I took some footage the other day, but I think I deleted it about the kids. So both of them in this last semester, they got all, um, Cameron got all A's. Kaden got all E's because he's in pre K, so they don't do like numerical grades, they just do like E's and S's. So he got all E's guys. Kim okay, got all A's. And we are so proud of them. Especially Cameron. Well, both of them, no. Let me start with Cameron. Because all year, Cameron has been getting all A's and one B. And that B is in math. It's a high B. We'll quickly say it's a high B. But we've been pushing her and pressing her and telling her she can do better. And that that girl did better. She brought home an A. And a high A too in math. So we was like, Cameron, you got one more quarter semester. I think it'll be a quarter. Y'all, I feel like she get report cards and progress reports sent home like every four weeks. But hey, I'm here for it. So I know she got one more official grading period. And I just know my baby going to keep it up. So we, we aiming for the principal's list at the end of the year. Caden... He started, so I said earlier in this vlog, I think that he goes to our church school. Our church has a Christian academy. And so he started back in December. Um, after not have been in daycare. I mean, he was in daycare. So they were doing and learning stuff, but he wasn't in a structured school setting like he is now. I mean, they're doing cursive writing. They're doing phonics. They're reading. They have reading groups. So it was a big adjustment for him. Homework, like 
and not just one page of homework where you color like I'm talking about pages of homework like you have a homework grid and you're supposed to follow the grid each homework <laughs> so for him to come out of that into this grading period so from the beginning of December up until the end of March I believe he did the dang on thing he got all ease he's progressing he's learning he's already smart anyway so I'm just really really proud of my babies and I have to pat myself on the back and babe too but more so me because that's just a testament to the work that I also put in when they get home and how I don't play because I can't it's not all up to the teachers you know you can't all you can't just depend on the teachers so I'm proud of them about that my job is going well I'm loving it I'm being challenged but in a good way I have God is showing me like you know that he can open the floodgates of heaven and let it rain and I'm just like let me get the buckets ready <laughs> I'm just like let me get the buckets ready y'all because I just want to do right I just want to do right I want to live right and yeah um so I think I'm just gonna leave all of this right here I'm hungry I need to actually focus back on work um, but yeah, I think that's a good little update for right now. And so let's see what else. I don't know. I guess in the spirit of keeping vlogging going and being a little bit more committed, then I will see y'all at the church when it's time to work out later on tonight. Got my playlist ready. Got my playlist ready. And we going in. All right, Bam Bam. I'll see y'all later.